It is, it is. So, and in this book, we're going to go over an example of how to use the uh, limit to find the equation of a tangent line for curve. So, let's go ahead and write down the question. Um, uh, so, number one, number one, um, it's not working. Work. Okay, so number one, um, use limit to find find um, the slope of the tangent line, the tangent line to the curve, to the curve y equals 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 half point at um the point one comma zero okay all right so later in this in your calculus course you're going to learn how to uh, execute this same procedure using derivative which is much quicker but we're going to learn how to use limits first uh, so you can really appreciate the power of derivatives when you learn it okay so um what we're going to uh, do we're going to use the idea that the slope of the point x so the slope m is basically um, equal to the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Okay, so that's basically the uh, uh, formula for finding limits. Okay, so I'll write that again f of x plus h minus f of x, and then the whole thing um, divided by divided by h. All right. Okay, so that's the formula we're going to be using to find the uh, to find the slope. Uh, this this equation generates the slope at any point x. So when we fix the x at a specific value, it tells us what the slope is. Okay, so it gives us the this formula gives us the slope function that can help us calculate the slope of the tangent line at any point. All right. So um, let's let's call this the a part because I'm going to add another part to this. So let's apply this here. So the function f of x is y. So y is basically equal to f of x is 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. Okay? So that is f of x. What is f of x plus h? f of x plus h is what you get when you substitute uh, x plus h for x in the equation f of x. So it's going to be 2 times x plus h squared minus 3 times x plus h plus 1. Okay? I'm going to substitute these two values into this uh, function up here, and then I'll evaluate the limit, all right? So on the slope, at x uh, is going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of 2 times x plus h squared minus 3 times x plus h plus 1. This is f of x minus parentheses f of x, I mean, this is f of x plus h, and then the f of x is going to be 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. All right? Now we're going to divide this whole uh, business by h. All right, now we're going to be using um, the distributive property to simplify this uh, numerator, and then we're going to combine like terms and see what, what happens. All right, so we're going to have the limit of h approaches 0. If we expand this, it's going to be 2 times. Um, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Uh, and then you distribute negative 3 to that, you have minus 3x minus 3h plus 1. And then distribute this minus for everything in here, you're going to have negative 2x squared plus 3x plus uh, minus 1. Okay, you just invert all the signs, minus 1. All right, and um, divide that, this whole thing by h. I hope I didn't lose anybody when I was distributing uh, x plus h squared. See this piece right here? I use a trick for doing that, but if you don't know how to do the trick, you can just go x plus h, x plus h, and then you can just flow it out first, outer, inner, last, okay? And you have x squared plus x h, and then plus x h plus h squared, and then when you combine it, you end up with this quantity that I have in the parentheses right here. All right, so there's, there's a shortcut formula for, for this, if you know what that's fine. If you don't, just write this again as 
another quantity and then just pull it out and then it becomes this. All right. So let's distribute the two. So we're going to have uh, the limit at base approaches zero of 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared. Um, you see this minus 3x and that minus 3x are opposite, so they cancel each other out. They add up to zero, so this and this add up to zero. And then um, minus 1 and plus 1 add up to zero. And then we're going to be left with uh, minus 3h minus 2x squared. Okay? And this entire story divided by h still. All right, so now um, let's combine like terms further to simplify the numerator. So we're going to have the limit to data for zero. Let's see what, ha what is happening here. Um, x squared has an opposite to x squared. This thing can add up to zero. And that's it. Okay. Anytime you apply this algorithm, you always end up with a, an expression that uh, has h in common. Okay. That should always happen. So you have 4xh plus 2h squared minus 3h. You notice that all these three terms have h in common. If you have a term without an h multiple, then that means you, you made a mistake uh, in your in your algebra. Okay, so divide both by h. Now we can factor out h from the denominator, and then we can cancel that out with the denominator. So as soon as h approaches zero, if I factor out h from the denominator, I'll have h times four x plus two h minus three divided by h. And then if you notice, the h is cancelled out. H goes here one. H goes here one. And then you're going to end up with the limit as h approaches zero of 4x plus 2h minus 3. Okay? Uh, now we can now apply the, uh, the um, sum of different property of limits. So if you have the limit of a sum of functions, you can take the individual limits of everything. All right? So this is simply going to become. Uh, Take individual limits, limit as h approaches zero of four x plus the limit as h approaches zero of two h minus the limit as h approaches zero of three. Okay, so if you notice, this is independent of the limit, so we say that four x this goes to zero, so it becomes plus two times zero, and then this is independent of this is a constant function, it doesn't depend on on, on h. So minus three. Okay, so if you simplify this, you're going to get four x minus three. So this is a slope at any x value. Okay, the slope at x. Now, um, the point that we're looking at is uh, point is one comma zero. Okay, that's the point in the question one comma zero. So what we're going to do. We know that at this point, x is equal to 1. We're going to plug in 1 into this equation to find a slope. So the slope at x equals 1 is going to be 4 times 1 minus 3. And your answer is going to be 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. Okay, so the slope uh, m is equal to 1. All right, so I'm going to add the b part, which is uh, right. The equation, right? The equation, equations of the normal and tangent line. Normal and tangent line. Okay. All right. So to so write down the equation of the lines, we just use go back to algebra two. We and algebra one, we have this point slope equation y minus y zero equals m x minus x zero. Now the formula we're going to use, we know that y0 is the y-coordinate of the point, which is 0. x0 is the x-coordinate of the point, which is 1. And it was the limit of what you calculate, which is 1. So to put it all together, we're going to have y minus 0 equals 1 times x minus 1. OK? This is the uh, point slope form for the equation of the tangent line. OK? So this is the. Uh, and this line. And this line. And then for the normal line, all you do is you take the inverse of the uh, slope right here. So the slope of the perpendicular line is simply going to be negative 1 over 1, the negative reciprocal. So you're going to have y minus 0 equals negative 1 times x minus 1. And then this is the equation of the normal line. Okay? Normal line.
right. So I'm going to show you a, a cool trick you can use to calculate the slope uh, using a graphing calculator, okay? Okay, so this trick can only be done with uh, a TI-89. I'll basically show you how to generate the equation of the tangent line um, using the graphing calculator, but you cannot generate the normal line equation, okay? So let's go ahead and enter the function. Uh, the function that we're working on is 2x squared, 2x squared minus 3x, minus 3x plus 1. So in order to access this menu function, let's say you're at, at the home screen, you just press second, I mean, diamond y to get, take you to the graphing menu, enter the function, and then diamond f3 will help you graph the function. All right, so if you press the F5, you see a bunch of menu options that can be done with the graph. So I'm going to go all the way down to option number A after nine, which is tangent. Press enter. It will ask you what X value you want to calculate the tangent at. So we want to calculate the tangent at X equals one. So we just type in one and enter. And voila, there it goes the equation, not only the equation but it also gives you the graph of the tangent line to the curve. This is the curve and that's the equation of the tangent line. All right. So thanks so much for taking time to watch this video. You can subscribe by clicking up here. More clips can be found on mypsters.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.